Thank you. You may not notice by looking at me, but I actually support gay marriage. Um, I mean, I, I don't think their breakups should be free. I mean, they should have to realize how much a lawyer costs when shit goes wrong. But I think, you know, as a trade, they should have made heterosexual marriage illegal. I mean, that would have been fair, right? That way when your girl's like, when we gonna get married? When we gonna get married? It's like, baby, you know I love you. And there's nothing else in this world I'd rather do than to wake up next to you every single day, give away half my stuff, and I would ask you to marry me, you know, but it's illegal. I'm gonna get arrested for that shit, you know? Uh, I think a woman should have a right to uh, would do whatever she wants with her body, too. Except, except breast reduction. That shit should be illegal. Man. Just, they need to change that amendment. <clears throat> I, uh, I was listening to this song the other day, and I don't know if it was like Megan Thee Stallion or uh, Cardi B. It was one of those whores. I don't know which one it was. No, and she says, in the song, my pussy smells like roses. My pussy smells like roses. Think about that. I have never bought a dozen roses and be like, this smells like pussy. <laughs> sure, wrap it up. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I, um, I mostly date black girls. I went full swirl. Yeah, I went full swirl, though. Like, I dated a girl from Africa. And, uh, yeah, she was from Kenya. That's full swirl, because she was African. And, um, you know, but I had to overcome the stereotype that white men have smaller penises than black men. But that's not true. In fact, I'm going to do what no comedian is going to do tonight. I'm going to prove to you <laughs> that white men do not have smaller penises. I did some research on the Internet. Average black man's penis in America is 5.8 inches. Average white man's penis, 5.7 inches. Here's the thing, I'm Italian. So I looked up country of Italy. Average Italian penis, six inches. The moral of the story is you go white, go Italian, baby. Right. Oh, man. Ah, a lot of stuff going on. I don't know. I, um, you know what? That guy had a, that guy had a thing. <laughs> All right. I mean, he had a clip, he had a clipboard. Nobody said nothing. I, um, no, he had a whole fucking clipboard. I'm like, what the fuck? So every Italian labels every single guy into two categories. This fucking guy and that fucking guy. You don't want to be this fucking guy. You want to be that fucking guy. Because that fucking guy got it going on, right? That fucking guy got a hot girl. He got a good job. He got money. Everybody loves that fucking guy, right? Like, you know that fucking guy? I love that fucking guy. You don't want to be this fucking guy. Just think about it. Everybody, when a guy cuts you off, what do you say? Look at this fucking guy. Right? This fucking guy got like a $500 car. Spent $5,000 on it. Sounds like he's going 100. He's going 20. This fucking guy got like... Skinny, high water jeans with little dainty shoes and no socks. Look, look at this fucking guy. You don't want to be this fucking guy. Any Spanish people in the audience tonight? You gotta explain something to me. How come y'all give like the pilot a standing ovation when the plane lands? Like I'm on a plane and the plane comes to a landing and I hear, woo, yeah, woo. I'm like, isn't that like an expected result? Like, did you get on this plane thinking like it wasn't gonna land? <laughs> like, that's the pilot's job is to land the plane. Like, I don't go to a restaurant and like order a medium steak and the waiter brings me the steak medium I'm like, and I get up, I'm like, yes, that's medium. That's medium. That's a medium steak. It's an expected result. The only thing I think you should applaud for, honestly, uh, guys, is when you make your girl come. I mean, it's an expected result, but it's not. What, what just happened? Is he having problems? She just said, yeah, right here. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean. This fucking guy, right? This fucking guy. 
Uh, but no, that's when you should applaud because that's like an, ex it's an expected result, right? But it's like, it's an event. So you make your girl come, you get me like, yeah, baby, you came. That's beautiful, right there, that's good. You guys are a great audience. You, st you actually sat through like 42 comedians. <laughs> oh man, that's my time. Uh, I appreciate it. My name is slick 2 a Rick. You can find me on Spotify, I got a new song out. It's called You Said Goodbye. And uh, thank you very much. Woo! See you. <laughs>